All right, welcome back to the J Concepts Garage. Uh, today we're going to work a little bit on a, something that we've had a lot of requests for, which is a tire mounting video. Uh, it's going to be kind of A to Z here, so uh, we're going to kind of take you through the steps that we recommend when uh, when you're mounting uh, mountain tires. Uh, this particular time we're going to mount some, uh, some J Concepts Triple D 8 scale tires. Uh, what we're going to kind of get going here, what we'll do is uh, kind of uh, we got things still in the package and uh, we're going to kind of show you how to take the glue out, uh, put the tip on and just kind of a general uh, general prep of you know how we might do this at the races. We got uh, just to kind of give a layout of the land here, we got our tires, we got our inserts, we got our wheels kind of tucked in behind over here. Uh, we got their glue, rubber bands, I got some scotch bright here, I got a glue tip and I also brought out uh, some scissors and some pens and the tire punch and some microfiber towels and we also got our our trusty uh, our blue uh, mechanics towels so uh, all these things uh, are kind of a uh, kind of go into mounting tires over and over again pretty successfully what we're going to do here is kind of start uh, we're just going to open one of a bottle of glue it's got the the medium viscosity. You'll see here. We got the glue itself, and what we got here is we got the uh, the gluing tip. We got the glue, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open our uh, dirt racing products uh, scissors. I needed a new one for my toolbox anyway, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. So we got our we got our scissors here. What we're gonna do is open the glue bottle. And kind of one thing that's kind of nice here is you can put this tip on. Kind of helps if you flex it a little bit. Get the tip on there. Now you don't really want to use the glue with this long uh, straw on here. So that's kind of where uh, the next couple tips kind of come in into play. So what we're going to do is we're going to eventually cut this shorter. But a uh, tri uh, trip, uh, little trick I saw online was to put a little heat shrink to hold these two together. So we'll take our scissors, cut a little piece of heat shrink here. You know, guys have some issues where you know these things kind of come apart on them. So we kind of walk this down on here a little bit. I'll kind of get this. Little heat shrink, get that on there. Nice and flexible. What we'll do is kind of cut this this tip a little bit short here. Everybody's kind of has their own uh, amount that they like to cut this this top. I like to open it up just a little bit more, uh, just so I have a really good solid uh, feel. I don't really like this moving a lot uh, when I'm putting on the glue, so. Uh, so I cut it a little shorter so it's a little stiffer. We'll get out our tires here. Now that we got our glue kind of ready to go, uh, we got our uh, tire uh, cleaner here from Dirt. Uh, but what we're going to do is kind of prep the tire here first. So what we'll do is take our tire punch. All right, so we're going to add some holes here into the tire. Like we talked about, there's a green compound, triple Ds. Uh, with this tire, uh, typically we've been putting uh, four holes in this tire. So what I do is kind of pick a spot on the tread. I don't like to go right dead in the center. I like to kind of go over here to the side. So pick a spot here, remove that one. Got a nice little hole in there. We'll flip this around. You go all the way the opposite side here and we'll go in a similar location. So we got you know two, two holes here kind of opposing each other. What I kind of do is just eyeball our next one here. So we'll get up in here. I like to go right over a pin 
so you're not like squishing two pins you're just going over one and then come back over on this side add that fourth hole so we got uh, we got the four four complete holes here in the tire kind of switch kind of switch sides too so you'll notice here like I have one on this side and then over here it's on this side um, I don't think it makes that big of a difference but overall I think it's it's just kind of nicer to have it alternated like that so what we'll do is I got my my pre-cut uh, pieces of scotch bright here and this is kind of uh, something that I like to do at the races uh, especially in eight scale where you know when these things uh, you want these things to be on here uh, for a good bit of time. So what I do is I take a, you know, a full sheet of the Scotch Brite, and I cut up like these small uh, little rectangle pieces of the material. So what we'll do here with the tire is I just want to scuff the the bead in the sidewall area. So what I'll do is just start scuffing in here, all the way around. Some people think that you use the Dremel for this, but I don't like using the Dremel because I feel like when you're using the Dremel in a sanding disc, you're removing too much material, and then you start gluing to the ground away rubber tire. So that's why I kind of went to this Scotch Brite because uh, I feel like it's kind of roughing up the tire bead itself, um, and without really starting to sand on the rubber. So you can see here we got we got some nice scuffs in here, which is kind of the idea. You kind of look it over in general and just uh, take a look at where we're at. You know, kind of go back over it if you feel like it. We'll do that here. The mounting of the tires is a is definitely a process, but. Uh, something once you get down, uh, it's just going to make things so much easier. So we'll put that away. And what we'll do next is uh, we'll do a little cleaning here. We got our dirt cleaner. Going to take out a microfiber towel here. And, you know, we use like a, you know, nice microfiber towel. Uh, there's some guys out there, uh, Spencer Rivkin, Cody Newmandal, they really love using these. Uh, to clean their tires. Uh, I've had a lot of success personally with using a microfiber and uh, for the purposes here that's what we'll use. So you can see we got the tire kind of scuffed up. We'll put uh, some dirt cleaner on here and this is where we're going to clean up the tire. And I like to hit the sidewall as well when I'm cleaning uh, because I feel like you're going to get a little bit of glue there during the process, so why not get it clean as well? We'll go back and hit this side real quick. So that's kind of like version one. Add a little more cleaner. Hit both sides again here really well. I said getting that sidewall. Let's see if we get that all clean. So we'll leave that there for a second. Kind of fold this up temporarily. Just do a little mini cleanup. Move some of these items out of the way. Fold this up. So we got the tire here. It's still wet. So what we're going to do is take a dry part of this, go in and kind of start soaking up some of the wet material. Kind of speed up the drying process. This is where you can't be in a rush with mounting your tires. If you're trying to get this done, um, one race to go, it's probably not going to go too well. But just cleaning inside the carcass here, getting all the, getting all of our cleaner so it dries up. You 
see now there's our of our cleaned tire. Our towel away. So now what we got here is we'll take out our insert, a dirt tech insert that comes with the, the tires. I don't know why I do this, but I like to kind of rough up the insert a little bit, act like it's been in a tire before, flex it around, and then um, tire's looking good. Slide this insert in there. That's kind of the, once you get the insert in there, the kind of the common thing to do is you kind of walk the tire around there and uh, settles the insert into the tire. So you can see that in there nice. We got our cleaned, um, our cleaned and somewhat scuffed tire. Clean up our area a little bit. Got our wheel here. People ask me all the time if you should mount your tire with the dots for the compound on the outside or the inside, and um, I don't really have a preference. Uh, lots of times you'll see the, the fast guys out there will we'll put that uh, on the inside, so that's what we'll do. We'll put that on the inside, slide this on, this is probably one of the more important parts of this whole operation here is getting your tire on the wheel exactly where you want it. This is kind of a common thing to roll it out, kind of squeeze it back. What you're trying to do here is you're trying to get that tire bead exactly where you want all the way around because you're not going to have a lot of time to, to get that moved once you start applying the glue. So what I do is kind of get that to where you know once you clamp down on it with the rubber band there in the end, it's going to be right where you want it. So we're pretty close there. You can kind of see like if you applied some pressure here, we're basically exactly where you want. Of course, when you see a guy like a Mayfield or somebody mount their tires in the, in the pit area, they're doing this where you can't even see uh, so fast they're doing this. You can't even see them. But this is what they're doing is they like to make sure that that tire bead is lined up against the wheel bead. So we're pretty close there. Pretty happy with that. Got the tire out. Got our glue out. Um, kind of the thing you want to look for when you're doing this. Lots of guys will... Uh, I know Ryan Cavallari and... Um, Spencer Rivkin and those guys, they, they like to glue their tires, and when they do, um, they like to hold the tire against the table. Um, that's kind of their method, is, is they, they hold this down, and then they angle the glue down in there. For some reason, I kind of like to hold the thing like this and put the glue in there. Um, kind of depends how you, you really, uh, how you kind of got brought up, I guess, racing. And who you watched and you know what video you saw but I'll do this the way I am uh, accustomed to doing it uh, you kind of pull this up as far as you can we'll get the glue in there kind of get down there as far as we can I don't really want to miss a spot that's probably the key all the way around We got a bunch of glue on there now. I see Mayfield do this a lot where he likes to kind of push this in like this. Make sure he just says he thinks it kind of the glue kind of sets itself. So then what he likes to do is then after put the rubber band on like this. It's kind of nice about these satellite bands is you can use these little individual 
handles on here. Now what we'll do is take our trusty blue towels. You can see where the glue's built up here from the extra and kind of all the fast guys, this might not be the, the best looking way to glue a tire, but they will do is they just wipe this off. From a visual standpoint, you get a little on the sidewall, but this is how they like to do it because the, if you leave that glue on there really thick, it takes a long time to dry and your bond isn't very good. So what you'll, you'll see on these guys' cars usually is a little bit of excess onto the sidewall. So there you go. That's the one mounted side. So <clears throat> you can see here we thin the glue out by wiping it down and that's just going to help us speed up the, the drying process. So we got that one rubber band on there. And uh, typically what you'll do from here is, obviously you go to the other side of the tire. Um, obviously we're going to let this dry, but uh, when you go to the other side of the tire, especially on 8 scale, uh, when you're wiping it, uh, kind of it lets you, since the, the wheels open on that side, you can kind of get all the way in and when you're wiping the inside. It's actually easier to do, uh, to wipe off the excess on the inside than it is on the outside because that wheel shape. Uh, gives you a nice little area to go. But um, so what we'll do here is we'll kind of skip to the idea that you're you're getting these uh, finished up and you're about ready to get them on put on your car. What we'll do is uh, since I needed one for my toolbox anyway, get out my get out my dirt pen here. You'll see a lot of guys as we'll You want to mark your tires. Uh, it's pretty critical to uh, mark where you're going all the way around. What we do here is, you know, simply uh, come inside. You know, if you want this thing to be, you want to say, all right, this is my left front. Mark it as a left front. And then what I'll do is I'll go to the other side and I'll put, you know, I'll put a G over here for, uh, for green compound. So I know I got a green compound, triple D, it's a left front, and put this back in your toolbox, and you're good to go. So right there you're mounted, you're uh, ready to go for uh, your next qualifier or main event. You got your tires mounted, so once you, uh, once you uh, throw them on, you're good to go, and then you mark the inside. So the insides are already marked. Once you take them off from your race, they're already marked, and and you know where to go next time. So you always want to run those tires the same direction uh, when you wear them. Uh, they wear a, an angle. Uh, typically you want to run uh, that same tire on that end every time so you're always wearing in the same direction and uh, that'll keep you going in the right direction. And uh, we appreciate you checking us out here on J Concepts. A uh, little tire mounting video here today. Kind of the A to Z here on how to do it in the uh, 8 scale division. Of course it's the same in 10 scale. Uh, same materials and uh, we'll see you next time and uh, remember to subscribe to us here uh, check us out and uh, let us know if you like it we'll see you next time